behind us is North Korea. In 2018, this was the scene of peace talks, unprecedented talks between President Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un, and South Korean President Moon Jae-in. Unfortunately, those peace talks have collapsed, and now we're again seeing military tensions escalating on the Korean Peninsula. This morning, there was another missile test that flew over Japan for the first time in five years. At 7.29 a.m. on Tuesday morning, Japan triggered its J-Alert early warning system to tell citizens to take cover in sturdy buildings or underground. A North Korean missile was overhead. The wail of sirens rang out as missile warnings appeared on TV screens for the first time in five years. Regional rail services were suspended for 20 minutes and nearby civilian aircraft and ships off Japan's northeast coast were put on alert. The missile flew over northern Japan, travelling more than 4,000 kilometres from its launch pad before falling into the Pacific Ocean. I was on a pre-scheduled visit to the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea, and the scene following the missile test was calm. The only indication of a North Korean military presence was the twitching of curtains in their headquarters overlooking the joint security area, where a concrete block denotes the military demarcation line between the two countries. Once the scene of historic peace talks between Kim Jong-un and former US and South Korean leaders Donald Trump and Moon Jae-in. Weeds now sprout through the pebbled ground on the northern side. This, as well as Pyongyang's barrage of missile tests, indicates that peace and North Korea's nuclear disarmament are still a distant prospect. Instead, North Korea is now increasingly embraced by Russia and China, enabling its threats and aggression. A visit by the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan in September for joint drills with the South Korean Navy has, in North Korea's view, stoked tensions on the peninsula. This year, Pyongyang has launched an unprecedented number of missile tests, including a suspected hypersonic weapon and an attempted intercontinental ballistic missile, which, if completed, could reach the United States. More turbulence may be on the horizon. Last week, South Korea's politicians, briefed by national intelligence, warned that Pyongyang's seventh nuclear test could be conducted ahead of the US November midterm elections.